Hello everyone and welcome to my Chohar Mega Tutorial. The main thing to know when playing a Chohar is play. However, you want a little choke, but it's true. So I'm going to show you a few simple techniques that will help you get started on your way. There are many ways to hold a jaw harp, find what's suitable for you. Make sure that your fingers are not blocking the tongue of the jaw harp. Then press the harp against your teeth or against your lips if you have a tonmoy type instrument, but don't press too hard or too light. And make sure that your lips or tongue are not blocking the jaw harp tongue. And don't bite the jaw harp. Try to rest the tips of your teeth here. There are many ways to pull the tongue of the jaw harp. The most recommend is to play in words like this. Many of the harps are especially designed for playing in words, as playing outwards can affect the sound in an unintended way and is also a bit more straining on those kinds of harps. That being said, I myself mostly play outwards, as it's just kind of my thing and also it enables me to switch easily between back and forth and normal playing. Now time for some basic techniques. The sound of the jaw harp is most affected by the shape of your mouth. So let's try changing the shape of your mouth. While playing, try to move your tongue up and down in your mouth. You can try to silently pronounce O and I. So maybe moving the tongue is the most important thing when playing the Chohar. But also very important is the airflow and breathing. Let's try to create a rhythm by sharply breathing in or out. Pull once without breathing and then pull once while breathing sharply in or out. And you can also try this. And then a thing that is not that common, but I really like to do it, is to block the tongue of the Johar with my fingers. I do it by holding the Johar like this and blocking the tongue with my middle finger. You can pluck the tongue with your index finger like this, or you can pull inwards and pluck the tongue with your thumb, or you can pluck it the Yakutian way. And you should also learn to use your trough. No, not like that. While playing, try to pronounce different vowels. And you can also do this, like K. And also a very important thing is to learn the difference between open and closed trough. When the trough is open, air can flow through, you can breathe, but when the trough is closed, you can't breathe. A way to close the trough is to say K, but stop halfway through, like... I am now just opening and closing the throat. I don't do anything else. Now it's time for playing some melodies. There's a pretty specific technique on a jaw harp for playing melodies using overtones.
This technique is sometimes referred to as the Norwegian technique, although it has been traditionally known in other countries also. Some people consider it the closest thing to real music you can play on a jaw harp. I disagree. But it's still a nifty thing to learn. First, you need a good high-pitched jaw harp. Keys G, A and B are pretty good for that. So, open your trove. I talked about this earlier, and find this simple triad using your tongue. I am using a harp in A, so the notes would be A, C sharp and E, but if you're using a different harp then of course the notes will be different. Keep in mind that on a jaw harp you can play the overtone scale, which is slightly different than the equal tempered scale that we're used to. So for a trained ear those notes might seem a bit off, but actually it's okay. You don't have to move the tongue too much, just slightly up and down to find the three notes. Try to find the three notes and then we can move on. And don't fail. Now let's find the rest of the notes of the scale. So play the first note of the triad with your open trove and then leaving the tongue in exactly the same position, close your trove and you should be getting the second note of the scale. Then you play the second note of the triad with your open trove and you close the trove and you get the fourth note of the scale and so on. So once you get the basic idea you can start practicing some simple tunes that you know well. And remember... Do not try to find the notes only by using your tongue, but also use opening and closing your throat to make the overtones sound more clear. Okay, let's wrap it up. That's it for now. Keep in mind that I didn't show you all the things you can do on a jaw harp and the things I did show you are more like guidelines, not rules how you should play. Never stop searching for new sounds and patterns and always remember to enjoy. enjoy.